Off we go to Schoolcraft College near Detroit, Michigan, the Motor City. That's where we found Bill Miller and his 1928 Auto Red Bug. This is a tiny little thing that sort of looks like a go-kart. It's actually an electric car that was really built with real transportation in mind. Where were they produced? Who, who built them? Um, Automotive Standards Incorporated built them, and they're from North Bergen, New Jersey, and they were made in 1927, 1928. Did they make very many of them? Not too many. I've read anywhere from 450 to 4,000. This particular model is uh, electric, and they made their own batteries. And what I use, I use a 12-volt battery and a 6-volt battery. So I start out with 18 volts, and then it slowly goes down as the charge goes down. Uh, they have Dodge starter motors, 12-volt, and they were used in Dodge cars up till 1928. Depending on the, how many passengers, adults, children, it'll go 7 to 10 miles an hour, and it has a range of about 10 miles. These are bicycle tires? Uh, about the same, they're 20 inch tires. And the suspension is the wood planks. There's no actual suspension. It's second growth ash. Were they marketed as a serious form of transportation? They were supposed to be a serious form of transportation, but it actually didn't work out that way. It was uh, too slow and ended up mostly children using them. Uh, they were expensive. They cost $325, and at that time in 1927, you could buy a Model T for $325. Where would somebody see this thing if they wanted to take a look at it? You, I guess you kind of um, do the car show, sir. Yes, it's often a Greenfield Village. I take it there, and there's other red bugs in museums, and there was a club with about 19 members, and that kind of disbanded after a while. The car started in 1916, and they had what was called a fifth wheel, and it was behind the car, and you lifted it up in the air about two, three inches, cranked it till you got the gas motor going, got in the car and it, you pulled the lever and the uh, motor went down on the ground and you took off. Don't go away, Cindy Williams from American Graffiti and Happy Days fame is still ahead. Stay with us.